This is Gerald. He's 89, and he's never had a bachelor party. We're here to dance! So, I'm gonna change that and take him on one that he'll remember for the rest of his days. But who is Gerald? That brownie. Well, you might remember this woman from a previous video. I served her cooking back to her in a fancy restaurant. I can't tell you how nice it is. Whilst filming that video, we met her husband. I'm sorry, who are you? And he mentioned that he'd never had a bachelor party. That had strippers and various things. So, I was going to pull out all the stops. I feel like Hell Capone. <laughs> and throw him one for the ages. Yes, he can so. But of course, being 89, would he be able to keep up? Has anyone seen Gerald? The first thing I needed to do was to get to know him so I could plan our stag party. This video has been sponsored by Adobe Express. Let's go meet Gerald. And he's ready to talk about his stag. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Hello, Aileen. It's so nice to see you too. Aileen got everyone a nice cup of tea, and I settled in to get to know Gerald a little better. Gerald, stag do's. You never had one, did you? Not at all. Why, why not? I think maybe I'd have been a bit past it that particular time after a second marriage. But he had been to a couple. I went to one with a friend of mine many, many years ago. What was going on? Well, I mean, they had strippers and various things. Yeah. <laughs> there were so many dance places to go to in those particular days. Would you go there to dance or was it just a place to meet people? Absolutely to dance. So I used to love dancing. I used to love jiving. Oh, yeah? Do you still get to dance? Not as much as I'd like to. Right. I'm up for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're now retired, is that right? I, I used to work in Paddock Hill Lane Market when I was 15. Gosh, so you yes. were in the China business for 40, 50 years? Very, very long time. Gerald also made it clear that this YouTube video wasn't the first time that he's been in front of a camera. And he made sure I heard all about his television appearance in 1975. I worked on Generation Game with Bruce Forsyth twice. No! Do you have that footage? I have tried to get a copy mm. of the show that my father and myself did, but couldn't find it. Was so it with the BBC? Millions of people, yeah, BBC. You're absolute showbiz well, royalty. Well, there was no time for a stag, dude. Now that Gerald and I were firm friends, I had a much better idea of what his perfect stag would be like. I'm very looking forward uh, to, to our stag, or your stag, I should say. Yes, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> and it was time for some planning. Transition. I just got back from seeing Gerald. What a great guy. I now more than ever want to make sure I give him the best stag do that he's never had. I have found a list of 1,000 activities to do on your stag do. He's got some questionable ideas, I think, this website. Car smash, barbecue. Um, they've also given a bit more explanation if you didn't quite get what that was with barbecue. Steak and strip. Do you then do the stripping or does the steak? As I did some more research into what to do on a stag do, I also realised that I'd have to get one important item of clothing. The t-shirt. It does seem that some sort of t-shirt, often an offensive t-shirt, is the way forward on a stag do. Oh yeah, there's a few, you know, prison uniforms, inmates, because you know, when you get married, <laughs> give away your freedom. The thing is, I'm definitely gonna need a t-shirt and I think I'm gonna make my own using Adobe Express. Adobe Express is the most accessible version of Creative Cloud. And Adobe Express is all in the business of turning your ideas into reality. And there are some features that absolutely blow my mind, such as their AI gen to fill. For Gerald Stagdo, I'm going to create his own t-shirt just using text to image. So I'm gonna say, make a stag do t-shirt design for an 89 year old called Gerald. Generate. Here we go. What have we got? That looks amazing. Also, if Gerald wanted to give his input into the stag do t-shirt, he could do very easily with the invite collaborators function. This is so easy. Make sure you don't miss out on Adobe Express and click the link in the description below. And I guess now, you get to see the t-shirts that I've made for Gerald. A few days later, the t-shirts had arrived and the stage was set. Stag, 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 stag. It's an early start, so I really hope he's on time. And if you were thinking we were staying in the UK... Terminal 5, please. You'd be dead wrong. So I arrived at the airport and hopefully Gerald would show up too. I do worry for him because he's 89 and he is just by himself. Where is Gerald? <laughs> oh, there he is. 
Gerald, good Hello, morning. Good morning. Have you morning. Got your coffee? Well, yes, thank you. Well, it was time to reveal our uniform for the next few days. What do you think of this? So we've got on the front, oh we've my got God. a beer, yeah. and then on the back. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most enthusiastic of reactions, but I knew just the accessory to convince him. The king. When do you want that, son? <laughs> Not now, I surely. Do. We were ready to fly. But I actually haven't told you where we're going. We were going to a place famous for bikes, canals, and uh, other things. A place whose government have asked English tourists not to come as they get too wild. These two bucks were about to tear up Amsterdam. Amsterdam. <laughs> it's cold habit. <laughs> We'd arrived in one of the party capitals of the world, and it was time for the stag to begin. Do you trust me? 100%. Oh God, you should have said that. Come on, let's uh, go. I put myself in trouble here. <laughs> so wasting no time at all, straight from the airport, we headed to our first activity. What do you think, girls? I think it's lovely. The city's excellent. It's a joy to be here. On the other side of the canal is our first activity. It's quite staggy. Do you know what we're doing? Yeah, for painful. <laughs> <laughs> Classic stag duo activity number one, paintballing. In perhaps the creepiest paintballing centre in Europe. Definitely British. What an unusual place. Sure. Never in a place like this. Amazing. This is Gerald. Oh. This is Stag Do, a bachelor party, but just 50 years late. Better late yeah. Safety never takes a day off on the Max Fosch channel, so we got Gerald suited up. You look like the SAS, Gerald. And apart from needing a bit of help with getting his trousers on. I think you put it on the, the wrong way round. <laughs> That fits you really well. Oh, Gerald was raring to go. Paintball center. Have you ever played paintball before, Gerald? No. Have you ever shot a gun before? No. Right. I'm always happy to be your first yeah. time. And he was already thirsty for blood. Jeez. Feel like Kel Capone. <laughs> we head to the battlefield, and after a few practice shots from Gerald, I was getting worried. I'm in trouble here. Because as we were the only two people on this stag, it would be a one-on-one -on -one death match between me and Geraldinho. Three, two, one, game on! But don't be thinking just because I was versus an 89-year-old that I'd be going easy on him. Bloody hell, he's a marksman. I'm coming for you, Max. I was about to unleash a volley of bullets on Gerald, the likes of which he's never... Oh, okay, he's got me. Oh, oh stop! Oh, stop! <laughs> I am so rubbish at paintball. Gerald? <laughs> oh, Ow! You're a crack shot, Gerald. I'm sorry about it. With both skin and ego bruised, I thought it was wise not to go up against Gerald again. We needed to get back to central Amsterdam and its famous canals because we were getting on a boat. Gerald, we are going on that boat over there. Have you heard of a booze cruise? I've been on the cruise, <laughs> but I've not had any booze. <laughs> And still fired up from the paintball, Gerald wasted no time getting everyone involved. So, can I have a word with a second? My stag knife for a better word, alright? Oh, okay. We're doing it 52 years later. Yeah, so. And the second we left the dock, the party started. Done. Before we knew it, everyone was getting involved. Yes. <laughs> and Gerald was the most popular man on the canal. Where are you from? Oh, my friends! <laughs> he was whipping out all the classic stories from the glory years, the main one being that time he was on telly. Nobody's ever heard of the Generation Game. Nobody's ever heard of Bruce Forsyth. And I was getting some backstory that even Aileen didn't know about. The guy one who used to sell pills for a living. What type of pills? Well, <clears throat> the entire boat had fallen in love with Gerald. I would like everyone, including myself, to do a cheers for Gerald. One, two, three, Gerald! Nice to see to see you. To see you now. <laughs> Even I was getting carried away with it all. Going out with Gerald's a bit tough. But even with a literal boatload of new friends, I could sense there was something on Gerald's mind. So have you been married? No, I don't think I've seen Thank you. Do you often get, get time away from Aileen? Not now. As you both have got older, do you, do you find that you miss her more when you're away from her? Oh, of course. We've been together 40 years now. Nowadays, there's not often that you're apart. Not at all. Well, it's nice to get you out of the house, you know. Oh, it's wonderful. Get, to get us up to no good. Oh. Our booze cruise had come to an end. A round of applause for Mr. Yeah. 
And Gerald had cemented himself as an Amsterdam legend. Everybody say Gerald! Gerald! Big G was holding up better than a man a quarter of his age. And both of us were ready to keep the party going. That's made the day. Do you fancy an eye out of town? He's a bit tired. I should probably go easy on him. Bless him. Poor Gerald was a bit knackered after the day's festivities, but unfortunately for him, it was only just the beginning, as next up we were hitting a certain district that happens to have red lights, and exploring all the delight it had to offer. There's a lovely vases. As a glass salesman, you should be able to appreciate some good glass. It's all the chat, mate, on the I like the cactus, or the elephant. <laughs> Very inventive. As the night went on, Gerald's wild side began to peek through. Gerald's been perusing for about five minutes. <laughs> and he was turning into a true Amsterdammer. That brownie? Mmm. Do you like it? Sure. Can you Good brownie. Dinner and a show. Get you in the mood. Yeah. The mood? for dancing. And that's quite lucky because, hey, it's party time. Are you old enough to come in? Can I see your ID? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> come on, girls. There we go. That's for you. Cheers. Cheers, good health. Come on. I'm here. Did you go home? Or do you want to go more? I want to go more. More. <laughs> <laughs> head on the table. Yeah. But they might all be shut, Gerald. Well, open them up. <laughs> More, 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 say, more, no, more. No way. We're here to dance. <laughs> We're here to jive, dance baby. To drink. <laughs> Dancing, drinking, stag. Look at him. A man of 89, jiving like he did back in the 50s. Gerald was an inspiration to me and basically everyone around him. And I was so excited to see what the next day on our stag would bring. I was hungover in the meeting spot that Gerald and I had prearranged the night before. The problem was, there was no Gerald. I'm meant to be meeting Gerald here now. He just phoned me and said that he's uh, he's feeling a bit run down after last night, which, <laughs> to be fair, he went harder than I thought he was going to, but he's asked whether he can just like slightly take it easy today, which is slightly annoying because I have some things planned, but ultimately I've got to make sure that he's okay. So not really sure what I'm gonna do now. In that moment, I realized that I might have pushed 89-year-old Gerald a little bit too far. So I did away with all of our plans for day two and hunkered down in a cafe to come up with something else. And actually, I had just the numbers to ring in the television world. Gerald! Hi, Max. How's your morning been? How was your oh, day's been lovely. Good. Good to see you. And you, after our slightly, you know, our big one last night. <laughs> <laughs> How have you found Look, this whole experience? I found the experience just amazing. I've loved every single minute of it. Everything has been so fantastic and you've been absolutely fantastic, I must say. Well, you've been such a good sport and I know that you are a big family man. It must be difficult to be away from Aileen for a couple yeah, of days. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I miss them all very much. I see them all tomorrow anyway, so yeah. it'll be lovely to go oh, home. Well, but it's really been great. Good. Well, you don't need to worry about waiting tomorrow because, guys, can we come in, please? Guys, <laughs> we have got the, the team. I don't believe it. <laughs> Gerald's clan back together, ready for him to share the stories of what he'd been up to. Oh, Max, I can't believe what you've just done. Oh, you're a family man, I can't believe it, and you not said a word. But there was one more surprise I had up my sleeve. And it's something that Gerald has been wanting for half a century. I'm going to need all of you to close your eyes, okay? okay. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Okay. Three, two, one. Open. <gasps> oh my God! Generation game. <laughs> oh, 
We have found it, Gerald. Oh, God, look at that. That is fantastic. We found the episode of you on the Generation Game from, it was 1976. Yes. It was the 100th, uh, I think it was the 100th anniversary game. Um, or the 100th episode, I should say, and we've got the whole the whole thing for you guys to watch now, if you'd like to have a bit of a watch, you doing your thing. <laughs> 48 years, but he still, seemingly, hadn't forgotten his lines. Forty-eight years ago. Oh, Gerald, that is okay. amazing. Gerald was able to enjoy this moment with his family and with you, the Fosh Pit. So thanks for watching. But I guess Aileen still wanted to know what he got up to. What a time. What have you been up to? You name it. <laughs> We've done it. We don't give a fuck. fuck.